I am Mark Stewart, and elsewhere I have made the pro-life argument for protecting innocent children. I do want to talk about the pro-choice argument. And it begins with recognizing that law and morality are different. For morality's sake, there's no question that we are, and I think we are, and we certainly should be pro-life. Don't harm other people. The law has exceptions because it can't enforce morality at all times. And that's where, for governing reasons, there's an argument for pro-choice of governing bodies, small governing bodies, not a whole country, I don't think even a whole state. But if a town or an enclave of a town says, we don't want to have an odious practice in our midst, it should be allowed to ban that like any zoning restriction it has now. If another enclave says, gee, we are willing to have an odious practice because some people feel a need, then it too should be allowed if its citizens want to. And citizens, I encourage to be active and to move away to or from things that they find vile. Thus, the criminality would be a very localized decision. And I don't think U.S. law should support jailing a woman who chooses to have an abortion. I do think it should penalize, potentially criminally, a doctor. Here's the difference. Doctors know that babies feel pain. Doctors are scientists who also have taken an oath to do no harm. They know they're doing harm. No question about it, and they're taking money to extinguish life without even the alternative. And there are so many of them, so many ways that a woman who doesn't right now want to keep a baby can still be well-paid, well-nourished, bring a baby to term with other options for adoption. Here's the woman who I don't want to imprison the one who doesn't even think it's wrong. And there are many of us in that category because for two generations, we have heard, ah, this fetus, not baby, is a, a gooey mass of cells. It doesn't have the cognitive ability. So it is so distinct that it doesn't seem harmful to slough it off. We have heard that this is part of a woman's body, which is not true either. It's in a woman's body. Two generations of people who don't think they are doing wrong, who then occasionally exercise that. I don't know if you put those people in jail. Our legal conception of mens rea, knowing you've done wrong, is at the heart of criminal criminal penalties. On the doctor side, yes. And so if you penalize doctors, yeah, there will still be abortionists. They are not MDs. Um, licensed doctors would lose their license if they go that route and maybe be put in jail. But some enclaves would at least not penalize a woman for going through this. We who know the harm aren't going to be changing two generations of inbred thought right away. Prosecutors are not going to evenly punish even when there is a clear violation of an enclave's law. The, the, how many prosecutors really would put the mother of three who has an unexpected fourth pregnancy at age, say, 42. She's not ready for this. And in haste says, yep, we, we better end the pregnancy. I don't think that woman is going to be sent to jail by any prosecutor. If you're going to enact laws, they have to be enforced. And this is one that would not be enforced in this day and age. 
That could change with better education and less haphazardness to those decisions. That could change. Look, there are some wrongs that we can't change for a long time. We, we don't punish big corporations for taking advantage of contracts that they know screw kind of innocent people. We can't change in our lifetimes the inbred thought that public schooling is better than private choice. We can't. So don't try. Don't make a law that is statewide and forces one thing because you won't be able to make it happen immediately. So we are living with, I think, a pro-choice way of doing things because we can't enact something better right away. For that reason, the pro-choice argument of small enclaves being responsive to their citizens makes sense even when some of the citizens around them think it's murder. It's worth our educating that it is close to murder. It's worth our trying to convince of all the good options short of murder. I'm not sure that criminalizing across the board becomes the right way to make that education and make that convincing. I'm Mark Stewart. If you want more on the pro-choice side, please listen to Larry Sharp. If you want more on the pro-life side, please listen to Ben Shapiro. I'm a humble servant of both of their ideas, and yes, they are compatible.